On the 20 slides shown below, I present the original photographs of the Second World War from the German archive, which are in my collection. These photos are from my collection department, Wehrmacht on the Eastern and Western Fronts. If you like it, subscribe to my YouTube, like it, so you don't miss the new weekly presentations. If you would like to order 5 inches by 7 inches copies of these photos from the original, you can specify which photos you would like to receive. Laboratory quality. Enjoy your viewing. Carl Friedrich Otto Wolf, the 13th of May 1900, the 17th of July 1984, was a German SS functionary who served as chief of personal staff Reichsführer SS, Heinrich Himmler, and an SS liaison to Adolf Hitler during World War II. He ended the war as the supreme SS and police leader in occupied Italy and helped arrange for the early surrender of Axis forces in that theater, effectively ending the war there several days sooner than in the rest of Europe. He escaped prosecution at the Nuremberg trials, apparently as a result of his participation in Operation Sunrise. In 1962, Wolff was prosecuted in West Germany for the deportation of Italian Jews, and he was sentenced to 15 years in prison for being an accessory to murder in 1964. He was released in 1971 due to his failing health, and died 13 years later. G. Bergstiger, German pronunciation, by K's J, are the light infantry part of the Alpine or mountain troops, G. Bergstrupp, of Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. The word Jäger, meaning hunter or huntsman, is a characteristic term used for light infantry in German-speaking countries. Non-Germans in the German armed forces during World War II were volunteers, conscripts and those otherwise induced to join who served in Nazi Germany's armed forces during World War II. In German wartime propaganda those who volunteered for service were referred to as Freiwillige, volunteers. At the same time, many non-Germans in the German armed forces were conscripts or recruited from prisoner of war camps. She Bergstiger during World War II the Wehrmacht and Waffen SS raised a number of mountain infantry units, identified by the Edelweiss insignia worn on their sleeves and caps. These divisions were lightly equipped, with much of the transport provided by mules. They were equipped with fewer automatic weapons than regular infantry, however the MG-34 or MG-42 machine gunners were provided with more ammunition than their regular infantry counterparts. Special equipment was made for them including the G33-40 Mauser rifle based on the VZ.33 rifle. Mountain infantry participated in many campaigns, including operations Weser Ubung, Silver Fox, Platinum Fox, Arctic Fox, and Northern Lights. They also served in the Caucasus, the invasion of Crete, the Balkans, the Gothic Line, and the battles in the Vosges region of France.
Eric Brandenberger, the 15th of July 1892, the 21st of June 1955, was a German general in the Wehrmacht of Nazi Germany during World War II. He was a recipient of the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross with oak leaves. He started World War II as chief of the general staff of the 23rd Army Corps, the 16th of September 1939, the 15th of February 1941, on the West Wall. He commanded 8th Panzer Division, the 20th of February 1941, the 16th of January 1943, Lix Army Corps, January, March 1943, and 29 Army Corps, November 1943, June 1944, on the Eastern Front. In late 1944 and early 1945, he led the 7th Army on the Western Front during the German Arden Offensive. He surrendered to the American forces commanded by Edward H. Brooks on 6 May 1945 as the commander of 19th Army in Innsbruck. Eric Kurt Richard Hoepner, the 14th of September 1886, the 8th of August 1944, was a German general during World War II. An early proponent of mechanization and armored warfare, he was a Wehrmacht Army Corps commander at the beginning of the war, leading his troops during the invasion of Poland and the Battle of France. Hoepner commanded the 4th Panzer Group on the Eastern Front during Operation Barbarossa, the invasion of the Soviet Union in 1941. During the invasion of Poland, he resisted mistreatment and murder of prisoners of war, but in Russia, units under his authority closely cooperated with the Einsatzgruppen and he implemented the Commissar Order that directed Wehrmacht troops to summarily execute Red Army political commissars immediately upon capture. Herpner's Panzer Group, along with the 3rd Panzer Group, spearheaded the advance on Moscow in Operation Typhoon, the failed attempt to seize the Soviet capital. Dismissed from the Wehrmacht after the failure of the 1941 campaign, Herpner restored his pension rights through a lawsuit. He was implicated in the failed 20 July plot against Adolf Hitler and executed in 1944. Walter Kruger the 27th of February 1890, the 22nd of May 1945, was a German SS official during the Nazi era. In World War II, he commanded the SS Division Polizei, the SS Division Das Reich, and the VSS Army Corps, Latvian on the 22nd of May 1945, Kruger committed suicide in the Courland Pocket 14 days after the surrender of Nazi Germany. Heinz Wilhelm Guderian, German, Udoian, the 17th of June 1888, the 14th of May 1954, was a German general during World War II an early pioneer and advocate of the Blitzkrieg approach. He played a central role in the development of the Panzer Division concept. In 1936, he became the inspector of motorized troops. At the beginning of the Second World War, Guderian led an armored corps in the invasion of Poland. During the invasion of France, he commanded the armored units that attacked through the Ardennes forest and overwhelmed the Allied defenses at the Battle of Sedan. He led the 2nd Panzer Army during Operation Barbarossa, the invasion of the Soviet Union. The campaign ended in failure after the German offensive Operation Typhoon failed to capture Moscow, after which Guderian was dismissed, he was Hitler's personal advisor on the Eastern Front and became closely associated with the Nazis. He was Hitler's personal advisor on the Eastern Front and became closely associated with the Nazis. 
Guderian's troops carried out the criminal commissar order during Barbarossa, and he was implicated in the commission of reprisals after the Warsaw Uprising of 1944. Guderian surrendered to the United States forces on 10 May 1945 and was interned until 1948. He was released without charge and retired to write his memoirs.